Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about MBOS class 10 math solution for the year 2022. Uh, so in this video, I'll be discussing about section A and B and C, D and E will be discussed in the upcoming video. So let us start. So section A which carries one marks each. The first question is express the decimal 11.225 as a rational number. So let us see the solution. So first we will write in the form of numerator and denominator. Then we will multiply it by 1000. Why 1000? Because to remove this decimal we have to shift this decimal three places here right so we have to multiply it by 1000 if it was just two numbers after decimal then we have to multiply with 100 if one number then multiply with 10 so since there are three numbers we'll multiply with 1000 in the numerator as well as in the denominator so in the numerator we'll get 11225 and in the denominator we'll get 1000 and when we solve this, we'll get 449 divided by 40. So this is the answer in rational numbers. And I hope everyone knows what is a rational number, which is expressed in the form P by Q and where Q is not equal to 0. Okay. Second question, what is the degree of a biquadratic polynomial? So this is very easy. The degree of a biquadratic polynomial is 4. Question number 3, find the first term and common difference of the given AP. So here first term is 45 and common difference is A2, the second term minus the first term or the third term minus the second term. So the first term is 45 and common difference is A2 minus A1, 50 minus 45 that is 5. Next when are two triangles said to be similar? So, solution, two pairs of corresponding sides are proportional and the corresponding angles between them are supposed to be equal. So, for in order to be a triangle to similar, what are the conditions? The first condition is that corresponding sides should be proportional and corresponding angles should be equal. So this is area theorem, statement of area theorem that two triangles are said to be similar if the corresponding sides are proportional and the angles between them are corresponding angles are equal. So next, find the value of sine 10 degree cos 80 degree. Let us see the solution. So sine of 10 degree, we can write it as sine of 90 degree minus 80 degree divided by cos 80 degree. So we know that sine of 90 degree minus theta is cos theta. So instead of sine of 90 minus 80, we can write cos 80. Why? Because here theta is 80. So cos and cos 80 and cos 80 gets cancelled, we get 1. Next question, how many tangents can be drawn to a circle from a point outside the circle? So the answer is 2. So we can draw two tangents. Okay. If I have to show this, I'll just show a rough diagram. Suppose I have a point here and a circle here, right? And a point is outside the circle. So if I have to draw a tangent, how many drawn tangent then can I draw? One tangent and two tangent. Sorry, my lines are not straight, but this is just a rough diagram. So from a point, we can just draw true tangents to this circle. Next question. Write the formula for the area of a sector of angle theta of circle of radius r. So the formula is area of a sector equals to 360 degree divided by theta pi r square. Find the class mark of the class 35 to 55. So we use the formula that upper limit plus 
lower limit divided by 2. So upper limit is 55 lower limit is 35 divided by 2. So 55 plus 35 is 90 divided by 2 is 45. So that's it with section A and now section B which carries 2 marks each. So we have to find the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation is given and we have to say write the nature of its root. So we'll write the quadratic equation then here A is 2 that is the coefficient of x square, b is minus 16 that is the coefficient of x and c is 30 that is the constant term. So applying the formula d equals to b square minus 4ac what we will get d is equals to b is minus 16 so minus 16 whole thing square minus 4 into a is 2 and c is 30. So minus 16 square is 256 minus and when you multiply this you get 240. So D you get as 16. So we can see that D is greater than 0. So we know that if a value of a discriminant is greater than 0 then the roots are real. Okay. So next question. If A is equal to 30 degree and B is equal to 60 degree, verify that sin A plus B equals to sin of A cos B plus cos A sin B. That's the solution. So first we'll take left hand side. So sin A plus B equals to sin A is 30 degree plus B is 60 degree equals to 30 plus 60 is 90, sin 90 is 1. And then when, when then we'll take right hand side, sin of A into cos of b plus cos of a into sin of b. Sin of instead of a will put down 30, instead of b will put down 60, instead of a will put down 30, instead of b will put down 60. So then we'll put the value of sin 30 is half, cos 60 is half, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So 1 into 1 is 1, 2 2 is a 4, root 3 into root 3 is 3, 2 into 2 is 4. When you take LCM you get 4 by 4 which is equals to 1. So your right hand side was left hand side was 1 and right hand side was also 1. So left hand side equals to right hand side. Next find the value of x. The condition is given 0 degree greater than x less than 90 degree. So x should be greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree. Okay. So we'll see the solution. So 2x, 2 sin 2x equals to root 3. So sin 2x equals to root 3 since it was multiply here 2 into sin 2x. So when it goes this side becomes divide. So sin 2x equals to root 3 by 2 is sin of 60 degree. So from here we'll get 2x equals to 60. So when this 2 gets goes this side we get x equals to 60 divided by 2 x equals to 30 degree. Then find the distance between the pair of points. So this is very easy. This question has been repeated many years. So most probably this is a very common question that you might get this year as well. So the given points are P 5,8 and Q minus 3,2. So here X1 is 5, Y1 is 8, X2 is minus 3, Y2 is 2. So we put down distance formula x2 minus x1 whole thing square plus y2 y1 minus y1 whole thing square root over okay. So root over x2 is minus 3 minus 5 whole thing square plus x y2 is 2 minus y1 is 8 whole thing square. So minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8, minus 8 whole thing square plus 2 minus 8 is minus 6 whole thing square. So minus 8 is 64 minus 8 square is 64 and minus 6 square is 36. So 64 plus 36 is 100 and root over 100 is 10. Then find the coordinates of the centroid. So here this is also very easy. You just have to put down the centroid formula. So A vertices are given. So A vertices will be x1, y1. B vertices will be x2, y2 and C vertices will be x3, y3. So x1 here is minus 3, x2 is 5 and x3 is minus 8. <clears throat> and for y, x y1 is 0, 
y2 is minus 2 and y3 is 5. So put down all the values and when you calculate you will get minus 11 plus 5 divided by 3 you get minus 6 by 3 that is minus 2 and y equals to 3 by 3 equals to 1 hence minus 2 comma 1 are the required coordinates of the centroid. So this this was a choice question you can do either centroid or this one. So find the ratio in which the point so the point is given divides the line segment joining the point A and B. So here a line segment is there A and B whose coordinate is given and it is divided divided by point P and the coordinates of P is given as 2 comma y. So the coordinates of P will be x comma y okay. The coordinates of A will be x1 y1 and coordinates of B will be x2 y2 and it will divide the line in certain ratio. So that ratio actually is m1 m2 m1 is to m2 okay. So here we have to find what is m1 and what is m2 so let us see the solution so let the required ratio be x k into is to 1 so k is m1 and 1 is m2 so using section formula x equal to m1 x2 plus m2 so this is section formula so i told you x is the coordinate of point p okay so what is x 2 and what is y? y is y only. m1 is k, x2 is 3 plus m2 is 1 and x1 is minus 2. Okay. okay, let me just draw the diagram. So, this is p whose coordinate is 2 comma y. And I told you that the coordinates of P will be X comma Y. The coordinate of A is X1 Y1. And the coordinate of B is 3 comma 7. That is X2 Y2. So then you put down the formal values x is 2 in this case. So then I, you can take either of the equations. So here y is unknown and even k is unknown. So if you take this one it will be difficult. So we will take here because here only one unknown is there we will take this equation. So when you cross multiply you get 2 within bracket k plus 1 equals to 3 into k 3k plus minus minus 2. So 2 into k 2k plus 2 ones are 2 equals to 3k minus 2. Bring the unknown quantities on one side. 2k minus 3k equals to minus 2 minus 2. So minus k equals to minus 4. Then minus minus gets cancelled. So k is equals to 4. So what was k? k was m1. Okay, what was m1? That when this p divides this line segment a and b, it divides in certain ratio. And what is that ratio? M1 and M2. So here M1 is 4 and M2 is 1. Let us see another question. The triangles ABC and DEF are similar. If the area of triangle ABC is 9 cm square, DEF is 64 cm square and DE is 5. And the side D is given as 5.1. We have to find a B. So here we'll use area theorem. Okay. So first let us see the diagram. So A B C and D F. So area of this one, the area of triangle A B C is given as nine centimeter, and the area of triangle D E F is given as sixty four centimeter. Okay, centimeter square, and D E is given, and D E corresponding side is A B. Okay, so we will use area theorem here. So, given triangle ABC and DEF are similar and AB 
C area is 9 centimeter square, D E F is 64 and D E is 5.1. So we know that the ratios of areas of two similar triangle is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding side. So area of A B C divided by area of D E F equals to A B square divided by D E square. So A B C is 9, D E F is 64 equals to A B we have to find out and e, DE is 5.1. So, when you cross multiply, you get AB square into 64 is equal to 9 into 5.1 whole thing square. I am not solving it because later when we will keep the values in root, so all will be in square. So, one one value will come out. So, it is very easy to calculate. So, AB equals to root over 9 is to 5.1 divided by 64. So, 9 is 3 into 3. So, 3 comes out into F. 5.1 whole thing square so 5.1 comes out and 64 is 8 into 8 so 8 comes out so when you calculate this 3 into 5.1 you get 15.3 and 8 so when you divide this you get 9.1.9 centimeter next question so in the given figure cp and cq are tangent to the circle so cp and cq are tangent that means CP and CQ are equal. ARB is another tangent touching the circle at R. If CP is 11, CP is 11 that means CQ is also 11. BC is given 7 then find the length of BR. So, this is very easy. So, since the tangent drawn to a circle from an external points are equal. So, we can say that CP and CQ are equal. We can also say that BR and BQ are equal. Why? Because they are also tangent from a point B. Okay. If you see the diagram. Okay. So, BQ. If you see BQ, BQ is what? BQ is CQ minus BC. Okay. The BQ, this portion is what? BQ is actually CQ minus BC. Okay. So, BQ is CQ minus BC. So, CQ and CP is equal. That is 11. So, if CP is 11, CQ is also 11 minus BQ is 7. Because, oh sorry, BC is given as 7 centimeter. So, 11 minus 7 is 4 centimeter. Meter. So, you have to find out BR. So, BR is. So, if BQ is 4 centimeter, what will be BR? BR will also be 4 centimeter because they are also tangent. Okay. Very simple. So, that's it for now. In my upcoming video, I uh, will discuss section C, D and E. So, the exams are very near. I hope every, every one of you are preparing well. So, all the best and keep shining. Thank you.